We're at the uh, Minneapolis Police 3rd Precinct, the one that was burned down during the riots in the spring of 2020. This police precinct's been in place for decades. As a professional police officer and somebody who was born and raised in this community, I'm saddened by what I see behind me. Like all of you, uh, I was at home watching what started out to be peaceful protest after the death of George Floyd that rapidly turned into violent riots with burning and looting. I would heard uh, earlier in the day that the officers assigned to this precinct, many of whom had worked for me over the years, were told to go to the precinct and clean out their lockers, which was indicative that someone had made a decision to give up this police precinct, yet they still put officers out on the skirmish line here to protect the precinct for no better reason than maybe just a, a show. And that was the wrong thing to do. I was the commander of the second police precinct in Northeast Minneapolis, a place where I was born and raised and spent the better part of my professional career as a police officer. What happened in the spring of 2020 in the aftermath of the death of George Floyd in the epic failure of leadership by Governor Tim Walls and other elected officials. If you look across the street here on the other side of Minnehaha, you'll see a vacant lot. There used to be local businesses that had been there for decades occupying that spot. They were burned to the ground. If you look just one block down, you'll still see that boarded up building, uh, the Coliseum. Just two years ago, they were fluid with businesses and community activity. Now you don't see any of that around this intersection. Many of these small businesses along Lake Street or West Broadway or East Hennepin never got a chance to rebuild. The governor abandoned them. People of Minnesota felt helpless watching this police precinct burn and the ensuing riots, chaos, and damage. You know, this was an epic failure of Governor Walls. There were a lot of finger pointing back and forth between Mayor Fry, Governor Walls, other elected officials. But at the end of the day, folks, Governor Walls owns this. He's the chief executive officer for the state of Minnesota. The governor, a man that we elected to lead this state through things like this. And he was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. People got hurt, buildings got burned, damaged. We were a national laughing stock across this country, Minneapolis, giving up a police precinct. When did it ever come to something like that? In order to stop crime, you're gonna to have to elect a governor who's gonna be able to get the job done, who's gonna be able to rally and work with the community and the small businesses themselves. Rich Stanick for governor.